Welcome back, fragrance fans. I'm Steven. Welcome back to another episode on Ode to Treasure, my YouTube channel where I get these amazing fragrances in the mail. Most of these are discontinued, vintage, rare, or interesting fragrances. And in this video, or in the next two videos, this one and the next one, you're going to see two, no doubt about it, very famous designer fragrances that are classics that are not discontinued, but two awesome vintage bottles right here that are brand new in the box. Amazing finds. I spent a little bit of money on these, so I can't wait to show you what I got. All right, let's open up this box and show you what I got. All right. I just pull them out like that. There we go. All right. Now, I'll tell you right now, I spent about $115 on these fragrances that you're going to see in here. In yen, that's 15,000 yen. I just had to have them. I usually don't spend that much money unless it's something very special. So in the first video, I'm going to talk about this. This is Chanel Pour Monsieur, a vintage bottle sealed in the box with an aftershave that comes with it. And then from the same seller, they had two sales and I put them together and asked for a discount and got it. I'll do this video next. This is one of the early Dior Fahrenheit's still sealed in the box. So this is a preview of the next video I'm going to do after this. All right, let's check it out. So take a look at this, guys, because there is something about this box that is a little bit interesting or strange, shall I say. This is a set. This is Chanel's Pour Monsieur with a aftershave, aftershave lotion. So let's first take a look at the box. Let's look at the aftershave first because we're not going to spend a lot of time on this one. Nicely sealed, still sealed. There is an EMB number here. EMB. That's the product number, catalog number, made in France. Lotion Après Rassage. Did I say that right? I don't know. Let's look around. Nothing else. All right, so the back, it was sold in Japan. It has the uh, Japanese product sticker information on it. It's 50 ml aftershave lotion. 50 ml, 55% volume. So that tells me a couple things about this. Number one, there's no barcode on this at all. That means this is pre-1990. And this EMB number, this started in 75 or 76. But it says 55%. And before 1980, it was like a circle or just like a degree sign, like that little circle there. So because it's a percent, this is, I would just say, very, very, very likely, this is from the 80s. So this is an 80s uh, bottle of aftershave lotion from uh, Chanel Pour Monsieur. Now let's look at this one. This is the prize, right? Something very interesting about this, guys. It says O oh, right here. Have you ever seen a Chanel Pour Monsieur that says O? Oh? I, I don't know anything about this fragrance, to be honest, guys. I've never had a bottle of it. I don't know what it smells like. But I'm sure you're watching this. You do. So tell me in the comments, guys, if you have ever seen one that says O. Oh. It doesn't say O oh to toilette. It just says O. Oh. And in the seller's listing, when I bought this, the seller said that this is a very old vintage bottle. And that's why it says O oh at the top. Or it just says O oh on the box. So let's take a look at the box. Let's look at this. Very interesting. I don't know what this is. Or I mean, I don't know why there's a three here. Look at this. It says cunt. Contents is what that means. 82 MLCC, 82G. Guys, you know it's old when you see something like this. Let's look at the bottom. 
So it looks a little weird, but it's it's not going anywhere. What does that say? It's a 92. It's 92 with a degree sign there, which is a 92% alcohol. There's the catalog number of this product. So this is really old, guys. There is no barcode anywhere. There's no green dot. There was a sticker on this that got peeled off. Maybe it was a big price tag. It's still sealed. It's not loose at all. It's nice and tight. Look at this thing, guys. And there is no EMB number on it. There is no EMB on the bottom. And according to uh, what I learned on Raiders of the Lost Scent, the blog, it's a great blog, guys, if you haven't seen that. I'll put a link in the description to Raiders. This is pre-1975. Now, this came out, this debuted, I guess you can say, in 1955. And this is a like a classic Shepra fragrance for men. It's very uh, citrus dominant. I think it's Sicilian lemon is uh, one of the top notes. It's got pedigrain in it. If you can tell me in the comments, guys, what does this smell like that I would be familiar with? I know Dior Eau Sauvage. I know Versace Lomme. And I know, um, what's another one that's like that? Maybe Armani Porom, Armani O Porom. Is this similar to that? Let me know what you think, guys. Am I going to open this right now and try it out? Hell no. I have myself a early 70s or possibly 60s clean, sealed bottle of uh, Chanel Poor Monsieur O. So what is this worth, guys? What do you think? My guess is this has got to be worth. I mean, yeah, it's definitely, like I can hear the liquid inside it. There's nothing wrong with this thing. It's beautiful. It's a little bit, there's a little, some dings right here. But I mean, this thing is perfectly sealed like new. You know, it's a little bit, um, it doesn't look nice up here because a sticker was on it. But who cares? It's sealed. What do you think this is worth, guys? I think this is worth at least 200, 250 bucks, right? And if you split what I paid for it, I paid uh, about $115 for the two, uh, the two fragrances that were in that box from that seller. So let's just say I paid about, about 60 bucks. Let's just round up, 57, 58, $60 for this. And my guess is it's got to be worth at least two or two hundred and fifty dollars. So this is a nice addition to the collection. The only negative thing is I I want to smell it. I wish I can, I wish it was open so I can open it up and smell it and tell you how it smells, guys. But I can't. All I can do is show you this beauty that just came today. That's it for this video, guys. Chanel Pour Monsieur, a beauty on the Ode Treasure channel. Love showing you these vintage finds. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already and check out the other videos I have on my channel if you want to see more stuff like this. And leave me a comment, say hello, and let me know what your opinions are on this or if you have any information about this O version of Poor Monsieur, if you've ever seen anything like this. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate the time you're spending on my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.